Hey, hello Internet, Sister Vert. I'm now using my uh, newly acquired 4K equipment. Yes, this is recording at 4K at 30 frames per second. That's the max I can do. The high speed functions, however, there's super slow, which is about 12 seconds max. Then there's a standard high speed function. Well, that's unlimited. That's good. Uh, besides that, this one is, I don't know why it's showing on the screen, but whatever. Uh, this one's actually pretty good. It can shoot much higher frame rates at uh, 60 frames per second in high definition, or 4K just a second, but why is that so important? It's not really that important, but regardless, I spent quite a bit of money on this thing. I could have got a cannon, but I decided not to get a cannon at all. Because I already have one. But not a 4K version. So, I wanted to vary my equipment. So, unfortunately this thing is not water resistant, so I cannot use this camera in the rain or the snow. So, the SJ cam is the only thing I will be using in those situations. Other than that, when it's a clear day out, I got it towards the JVC, the Vixia, or this son of a bitch. In which I ordered two new, two extra extended batteries for this thing because the time lapse function is rather nil. It just saves all the images, and I'd have to fucking put them in Kden Live as is. In order to get that processed as is, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm not about to do that. Because that takes a bit longer to do. So, actually I may try doing that anyway. But, quite annoying if you got to keep pressing and holding the photo button to capture images. If you know what I mean. Anyways. Yeah. And if you didn't notice, this is actually using the infrared night shot function. Highly effective. Beside me, I have a blue light. Or is it blue? Yep, it's blue, but mostly worn. It's a little 4 watt night light. Not LED, of course. And it's obviously when I turn the filter off, it can see infrared light. So, yeah, I'm still getting to know this equipment, so, yeah, it's cool. And when I turn off a night shot, I don't the power button, it's hard to, let me just take it off this plastic sheet. Take a look at the goddamn button, because I can't see it. There it is. Okay, I take it off. You're gonna see the filter slide down. There it is, slid down. I turn it back on. The filter's gonna slide back up again. Watch. There we go. It's an automatic window that slides over the viewfinder to filter out infrared light. Kind of cool, isn't that? Although I wish it would jam and stay up for good, because then I can see light even in the dark, and I'll have to enable this damn function, and only showing green. Does it make me look like the Hulk? I should hope not. But regardless, it gives you the green tint, which is so silly. It's also got the infrared blaster. That, no. It can also be controlled by a remote, but I didn't buy the remote. That's costly. I don't need it. Anyways, yeah, I picked this bastard up at Best Buy, and there was only a few left, so I had to uh, keep track of the stock and wait for the right time to get it. So, yeah, at least I'll be able to get a myriad of new videos put up, besides upscaling, which I've been doing for a long time. I'm still going to be doing it anyway. So, yeah. Anyways, that's it. That's it. That's all.
I didn't have to get another memory card for this bastard. So, that's nice. It's compatible with 4K because I made sure about it when I bought it. But I wonder about 8K. No, this thing, I cannot do 8K. And 8K equipment for the consumer size still doesn't exist. It's still about $8,000 or more. Money I don't have. Anyways, all right. I'm going to cut short now. I can press on the screen. It doesn't matter really, does it? Oh, and this little wheel. Zoo on the fly. I like that. I can change the focus. Right now, keep it as zoom. Until I'm doing something better. Anyways, feel free to subscribe anytime. It costs nothing. It doesn't change the fact that you can still see the videos by searching them. Yeah, we're going to my channel. Anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching.